morning, everybody, to a special report of Jerusalem's Gate. It's wee hours of the morning. I've been doing some research all this morning, and I got some videos that are in uh, pictures I want to show you. It should be a series of three or four videos in uh, one picture, I believe. Uh, this, uh, you know, this civil war in Syria is is going on, approaching what seven years now, eight years. And the death toll is from last reported. Don't quote me on this, though. I think it's in the 400,000 uh, range total deaths in uh, this uh, Syrian civil war. And, uh, you know, the real losers, like I always say, is the citizens. That's the real losers in war, is the citizens. And I'm, I'm going to show you a... a uh, a string of videos, probably three or four, vi three videos in one picture, and uh, to give you an understanding of what's going on in Syria and is in the, uh, the surrounding area. Uh, this one is a video of uh, tonight's Russia uh, Russian airstrikes targeting East Gota. Now, I remind you, there's still a lot of civilians left in East Gota, and this fire that is uh, coming down from the sky from the plains. Uh, could easily be hitting uh, civilians. I, I don't know for sure, but uh, so many civilians have died thus far, particularly in the East Ghouta. Uh Let me expand this where you get a better view of it. Here we go. Oh, that'll leave. It's kind of eerie how the rooster was crowing, uh, don't don't you think? Uh, kind of reminds you of uh, when Peter denied Christ in the uh, the uh, cock crow three times. Uh, but I have more videos coming up, one after the other. Yes, dear friends, uh, this is the video of uh, YPG ATGM hit a Turkish uh, of FSA military vehicle. And we'll see that if you look closely, I'll blow it up here where we can see it. Here we go. <laughs> There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, this is a video I wanted to show you also. Uh, just coming out a little while ago. White helmets having worked for 18 hours sifting through the massive destruction left by intensive Russian air raids on Adlib City Tuesday. White Helmets teams ended their rescue uh, operation. The confirmed civilian toll was three rescued alive and nine dead. Now some uh, people uh, that has channels says that uh, the White Helmets uh, sometimes stage rescues. Like for instance tr uh, in one of the past gas attacks uh, they were treating the victims uh, with bare hands and not getting sick themselves. Uh, I do not, I am not in a position to uh, uh, agree to that or not agree with that. It seems from the outside that they do a wonderful job, but I don't know the, uh, the, the facts. But again, from my own position, it seems like they do a good uh, uh, job. Uh, I wanted to show you this video of them rescuing. Here we go.
Seems like it's a very difficult job to me uh, with all the death and the injuries. Thank you very much. Y yes, my dear friends, I wanted to show you something that I came across. Uh, it's a, uh, I'll, I'll just read uh, what the title says first. Jake uh, Klipschik, I hope I'm pronouncing that name wrong, uh, right. If I'm pronouncing it wrong, please forgive me. A YPG volunteer from the United States who has been missing for several weeks has been confirmed deceased by IPV. Unclear how he died, but not confirmed yet by YPG. Well, this is a United States citizen evidently that went there to fight uh, as a volunteer for the YPG. Now, my heart goes out because uh, I am a U.S. citizen and uh, I love my country very dearly. And uh, I don't want th this man to go unforgotten, being that he's a U.S. citizen. Now, his reasons for going there fighting for the YPG, I'm sure uh, he had his own uh, reasons. Uh, uh, but I, d I wanted to make sure that the world knew his name and the world knew his face. Because uh, uh, evidently he's deceased now. Uh, once again, it's Jake uh, Klipchik. Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. A YPG volunteer from the United States who has been missing for several weeks has been confirmed to see, says IPV. Unclear how he died, but not confirmed yet by YPG. Just wanted to give you that piece of news.